how to create a camping and hiking gear e-commerce website on Weebly hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform so let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account and if you already have an account you just go with login and you type in your email or your username and after typing your email you click on next to proceed to type in your password after typing your password you click on login after logging in the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store so it doesn't matter what name you give it now you can always change the name later after typing the name you click on continue and then you have a question and you have three answers you choose the answer that fits you and then you do the same with this other question and then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be selling so my store is in the niche of camping and hiking gear so I'm going to choose the tools and parts category and also sports and recreation and that's it and if you can't find your category or something close to it in this list just go with other then click on continue and if you already have a store in the real world you type in the address of that store if not just skip this step and then you will proceed to your dashboard as you can see this is the dashboard and here we have the edit side button and also the design now button and both of them take us to the editing phase and in your left you have nine sections and I'm going to go through, through each one of these sections and explain it for you starting with website where we have the edit side button again and the, do the domains button where you can set your domain name or change the one that you already have then we have the items section where you have the site items if you want to create new products or if you want to change the ones that you already created then we have the site categories if you want to create categories and then we have these other ones options coupons and so on then we have the orders section where you can check all of your orders to see the shipped one the fulfilled one and so on then we have the fulfillment section where you can set your pickup settings and your shipping settings then we have the reports where you can find every report that is related to your store from the site's traffic, online sales, the site items, coupons and so on and if you want to see the summary of all these reports just click on summary then we have the marketing section where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience starting with email to ads, mailing lists, segments and so on and again if you want to see the summary of all these tools just go with summary then we have the communications section where you can see the email and text alerts messenger pop-ups and abundant cards and last but not least we have the settings section where you have the general settings if you want to change your company name your email your address or your phone number then we have the checkout if you want to set your payment processors like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal account or changing the country and the currency of your store as you can see here so you can connect your stripe account or your paypal account then we have the sales taxes if you want to set your tax settings and then we have the units where you can change the site's language or also you can edit the units that you have so that's it guys for these sections let's go back to the overview and let's proceed to the editing phase by clicking on the edit side button and it will not take much of time to load it will take less than 15, 15 seconds so here we have the setup guide if you want to go with it if not just ignore it it will disappear right now and here we have the site styles if you want to change if you want to set your style from now 
So here we will just wait for the store to be fully loaded and then we will choose one of these styles. So guys, you can always change the style later. So it doesn't matter if you choose a style that doesn't fit your store. So here I'm going to choose this one and check if it fits the store. So now nah, this one is not very good. Let's try with this one. And let's see, it's not that good either. Let's check this other one. I think I will just leave it in the simple one. Choose the black and white. This one fits it. No, this button is not showing. So let's choose this one. Or this one. So I think this one is good. Click on apply site styles. Then you proceed to the site's design if you want to change the site again. And here you will have the logo if you want to add an image to be your logo. And if you want to change the colors, change fonts, which I'm going to change from this one to Comforta, which is this one. And I'm going to make it 20 pixels. like this and I'm going to leave it at one, 1.35 like, like this and in here I'm going to leave it in 1.2 and for this one like that and that's it let's click on done and if you want to change the shapes also i'm going to leave them around it and images around it also then click on done and if you want to change these other elements you will need to upgrade your your plan from the free one to the paid version and when you're done you click on done close this one dismiss all all. and here you can control all of the all of the sections that you have in your template by just clicking on them and adjusting them the way you want so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends